Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is day number 11 of my 21 days of strength challenge. Today's focus is on the lower body. We're hitting the legs, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. I'm using one pair of dumbbells today, a heavy set of dumbbells. I've got a pair of 22 kilograms and what I'm gonna do is um, some heavy um, you know, double dumbbell exercises and some with a single like a goblet squat. So uh, you might wanna have a lighter set and a heavier set or just one heavy set like me. First exercise, we're going to do three rounds, three sets of goblet squats. So that's going to involve one dumbbell, nice and close to the chest. And what we're going to do from here, we're going to hug that kettlebell, dumbbell, sorry, hug, hug the dumbbell, feet just sort of wider than the mat. We're going to sit down nice and low, driving through the heels and stand up. That's our first exercise, 10 strong and slow reps to begin. Here we go. Right, hug that dumbbell to the chest. Let's go. So there's no rush. Get down low. One, two. Good driving through the heels of the feet. Three, four. Good work. Good. Five, six. Right, drive through the heels. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so rest, short little rest, we have a one minute break, do two more sets on this. So we're trying to get that weight close to us, feet nice and flat on the ground, we don't want to be arching the back, sit down into that imaginary chair and stand up. Two more rounds, then we're going to go into some RDLs, which is going to be one dump, bow in each hand, stretching, pulling from the hamstring, so three sets on the RDLs coming up. So one dumbbell, if that felt quite easy, maybe go a bit slower or um, increase the weight now for our second set. Okay, right. Here we go. Pick it up again. Again, just holding the dumbbell. Don't let it come away from this, okay? Keep it really close to you. Right. Get your feet nice and planted. Turn up the feet slightly. 10 reps starting now. One, we don't want to bounce out of this. So come down, pause, and drive. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Push through the heels. Nine, and ten, excellent. Okay, one more then. There's five moves in total, five different exercises. Right, get you up ready again. I'm gonna put my little watch on, alright. I don't know, I don't count can, can, I got that to see my heart rate. Right. Come on. I'm still half asleep, sorry. I'm, I'm warming up. I'm warming, I get to a point where I sort of the energy comes and I can I just come slow, slow out the blocks. Okay. Here we go, third set. Ten reps. Ready? Stick your feet down to the ground. Try not to move them. Drive up, let's go. One. Two. Three. One in each hand. We're trying to hit the hamstrings now, so what we don't want to do here is arch this back in order to get the dumbbells down. You haven't really got to get them to the ground. 
RDL means Romanian deadlift, so they don't actually hit the ground. A deadlift is when the dumbbells set right down and you reset. But we're actually trying to just stick our bum out slightly, hinge from the hips, weight comes down. So the dumbbells are close to your knees, not like right ahead. Feel the weight, like already just that stretches them. So do a few of them just with the body weight. Stick your bum out, slight bend, so we're not locked out, not bent like a squat. Just literally a soft bend, stick the bum out, sit back, stretch these muscles, and then we pull. Okay, so we're going to go for three sets. We're going to go for 12, 12 reps, 12 to 15 to go. Okay, so I'll do these side on for the first set. Okay, so 12 to 15 reps, sticking that bum out, here we go. Stretch and pull. One, two, nice straight back. Three, just blow the knees. Four, five, oh, six, seven, nine. Another 15. I'm going to get them done. 11, 12, 13. Use those hamstrings. 14, last rep. And done both down. Oh. You'll always feel a bit of your lower back working, but you don't want to be feeling too much strain. If it's too much, you might be up from your back. The weight might be too heavy. You know, it does, it does kick in at some point, but you don't want it to be all here. You know, you want the main action to be coming from the legs, rather than it be coming from your back like this. Even though that actually it is working. Let the hamstrings pull into your glutes. And that should squeeze you up. <sighs> so the challenge with the heavyweights is it's forearm grip goes before your hamstrings go. So two more rounds on that. I know I can do 15 reps, that's my target. 15 reps on the next two sets. Yeah, you just don't want to turn this into a squat where you're working the quads. Because if you, if you bend the legs too much, you're just squatting the weight of this there. You're just squatting the weight, whereas here you really are pulling with the posterior. Right, let's go, second set. Right, second set. And let's go, so stretch. And pull up, one, two, oh, three, four. Now, mate. Ten. Five more. Stick that bum out. Eleven. Think about the hamstrings doing the work now. Come on. Twelve. Uh, Thirteen. Fourteen. Last rep. Uh, they are pulling on the hamsters. Big time. The hammies are getting a rinse out. Right, we've got one more set on these. And then we're going to go into a single dumbbell exercise. So I'm just going to use one because it's going to be a lateral lunge. It's quite a tough stretch, this one. So we'll be holding. You can go body weight if you want, but if not, hold the weight and you step out. So you've got to get stretched through the hip flexors and through the side of the inside of the thigh. So lateral is hard. Drink. Right, I'm ready. You ready for it? Thumb set. 
So our third set, then we're going to do two sets of those lateral lunges. Right. Okay. Right. The closer you get your legs, I feel, the more the stretch as well. We can change up the foot position a little bit. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Don't let that back arch. is the lateral lunges, we're just going to basically step up to the side, oh, it's going to be well over there, just have a little stretch quickly, so I'm just going to stretch my hip flexors, right foot on the floor, left knee on the ground, just have a little stretch there, on the other side, Two sets now. So if you can, pick up your heavy or your light, whatever you fancy. We're going to get this nice and close to the chest. And you'll step out to the side. There's 10 reps in each side, so 20 reps in total. Let's go. So step one, two, three. Driven my heart up to 160. It's amazing how much sleep can affect your energy levels. It is hard, man. It is hard, but I'm doing this because I want to prove that even with a new baby, you can find time, you can find energy, and you feel better at the end of it. Always, always feel more energized, always feel less stressed. And that's good for me, it's good for me, it's good for everyone when I'm moving and I'm energised. It just releases so much. It's frustrating when you don't sleep. So, even if you go for a walk or a little bike ride or anything like this, just 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it makes a big difference to your day and how you feel. I'm always saying that, never regret a workout. Oh, I always feel better at the end. And it does, I mean, even though I'm tired this morning, it's en it energises me, you know, it so actually brings that energy in my body. Okay, final big set of these, sorry, fast, not the last set, but the final set of these. Right, here we go, ready? 
Stepping out to the right, let's go. One. Two. Seven beats per minute. Okay, we've got two more exercises. If we do some of the lateral lunges, we're now going to go big and heavy, one number on each hand. Oh, I'm dreading this, but we're going to go for 20. Reverse lunge, so 10 on each leg, just stepping back, 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 smashing the quads. Oh, right. Just a little stretch, a little 90-90 stretch for a minute. So nice to be at the front. 90 degrees at the back there, and just lean over there, that knee if you can. How mad is how high your heart rate goes during leg workouts? With intensity, like that. Let's let our heart rate drop a little bit. Can't be 
walk straight back into that. Have a those weights. We've got one more move after this. Just two rounds of this, so one more on there. We've got one exercise, two more rounds. Thanks again for joining me today. I'm doing these for my own personal trainers, but I love that there's people all around the world taking part and I just think, you know, share it, share the content. I'm gonna do the work anyway, just film it, share it. Hope it's gonna help someone out there who's struggling with their motivation. I hope you're enjoying the challenge and you're enjoying the different focus, you know, workouts every day. Oh, legs are getting smashed, aren't they? Right. So we're gonna, there's a tendency to want to just rush through the reps, right? Let's slow them right down again. Think about that time under tension, think about that really stable base. We don't want this foot and knee wobbling. Plant it to the ground, don't push through the toes or the ball of the feet. Drive through the heels, put the weight through the heel, you'll feel this activate your quads and glutes, okay? So step back, drive through the heel. Think about that, right. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Heart rate drops again, now we pick it back up. Okay, you ready? Let's go. One, that's it, slow reps. Two, strong legs. Three, four, five. Seven, it's hard to hang on to the dumbbells. Eight, nine, ten, slow, eleven, twelve, slow, 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 thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two more. Final rep. And down. Oh, I need to let go for a minute on the flat. 170 beats per minute. That's working. I mean, I'll probably get 180, 185 out of a massive push on, a, on say, a sprint or something, but 170 if we're doing a set of lunges, that's bad. Just go to show how much your lungs and your cardiovascular system are working, even during a strength training session. It's so, just such an all round workout. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go again in a minute. Yes, that was strength. That was definitely a strength session there. I was, I was hard, hard finding those last few reps. I was like, well, uh, <sighs> Right. Oh, what did this kicking out an operation on this knee when I was a teenager? It, it's just always been a bit weird. Clicks. <sighs> no idea why. Right. The last move involves one dumbbell. Oh, if we've got it in us, I think we have. Oh. Okay. What we've got is a narrow goblet squat. One dumbbell close to the chest. So we're going to really like load the quads here, okay? So it's going to be a really quad dominant. 
Before we started out with a sort of wide and turned out slightly, we're going to narrow this time, parallel feet. So it's almost like a narrow leg press. If you're on a machine, you push in like a narrow position, right, through the legs. So we're trying to keep, trying to keep those like knees nice and parallel and a bit closer together, so a narrow stance. We're going to try and pump out 15 reps to just finish them off. You ready? You ready? So, dumbbell close to the chest. Oh, my legs are tired now. Dumbbells are well close, but quads are on fire. Right, so, feet together a little bit narrower. So, we go down and we come up. Let's go. Oh, one, two, three, four. Five more, come on, 11, 12, 30, 40, oh, 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 One more of those. Oh. I needed this one today, I needed it. I needed this one. Right, we're gonna go again in one minute from now, so 60 seconds rest on top of that. If you haven't access to heavy, heavy weights, like you can still make things more challenging by slowing the reps down. So obviously like the longer and the slower you do it, the more tension, it's gonna feel harder, you get to your fatigue a bit quicker. You don't feel like you need to have massive, massive dumbbells like me. You can do it with a lighter set, but still get a good burn. But if after a few weeks and months you feel like your strength plateaued, that's maybe a good time to invest in some more dumbbells. Okay, here we go. This is gonna burn. This will be the last set. Last set of the day. 15 narrow goblet squats for the win. Remember, hold that dumbbell really close to your chest. Oh, okay. So we don't want to turn them out wide, nice and parallel, a bit narrower. Let's go. One, two, three. Just to show, you don't need a gym with like hundreds of machines and loads of equipment. You can have a proper good workout with just one pair of dumbbells. We target all the big groups there, the quads, hamstrings, glutes. That's a fantastic session. I'm absolutely blowing. Thanks again for joining on the Body Coach TV. Please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so when I share a new workout, you'll be notified. And if I could ask you one favour, it's just to tell one person, someone you know, about the Body Coach TV, let them know about the workouts, all the content, all the love and energy I put into it to get people all around the world moving and feeling good and feeling strong and happy. Take care, lots of love and I'll see you soon for day number 12 of the 21 Days of Strength Challenge. We're going to get there, we're going to get to the 21st of September together. See you soon.